Well, here's some unanswered questions here. Number one, why every celebrity, when it comes to their birthday, they having a party, and there's some shit that goes down? Why do they announce things on their birthday? People, to be honest, we as individuals are not even supposed to be celebrating our birthday. I know that's kind of hard for you guys to believe and I know that's kind of hard for you guys to obtain and stop doing because you guys grew up celebrating your birthday and you're used to getting pampered and receiving gifts on your birthday. I know you guys are used to that. So when I come and tell you that it is pagan, it is an abomination to celebrate your birthday, you guys will be like, oh, no, it's not. I'm just being doing me. No, it is abomination and it's pagan. And it's the same reason why you never have nothing. It's the same reason why you never find yourself excelling out of the rut that you're in. Because you're doing pagan Egyptian rituals. Celebrate the birthday, that's celebrating self. You know what I'm saying? That's celebrating yourself as a God. We're not supposed to celebrate self. We're supposed to pay tribute to the Most High. Christ. And such things of that nature. But every time one of these celebrities have a birthday, they always announcing it on social media. But um, yesterday, Megan Thee Stallion was celebrating her birthday. It didn't even, even, it didn't even say how old she was. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's funny. I, I'm looking in the in the news report, and then it didn't even announce her age. It just said she was celebrating her birthday, and on her birthday on IG, she decides to announce to her followers her relationship with her new man. And then as she announced the relationship with her new man, she gets into a fight with another rapper. Now get this other rapper's name, if I'm saying it right. If this is even a rapper. Her name is Party Fontaine. Yes. I shit you not. The rapper's name is Party. P-A-R-D-I. Party. Or Pardi. Fontaine. I guess she's a remake of Cardi B. But anyway. So I guess for short she. I guess for short her name is Party F. So you have Cardi B and you got Party F. Nobody never heard of this rapper. I haven't heard of this rapper. This must be a new rapper that Megan the Stallion have put in route to bring out. Because let me tell you something. This is not about her birthday. Well, actually, it is about her birthday. This is not about the new man that she's un announced that is her new man. This is not about that new man. This is all about her birthday and the rapper she got into a fight with. I repeat, people. I said this is about her birthday and the rapper that she got into a fight with. Because, see, this rapper that she got into a fight with, who knows her? We know Cardi, we we know um, Megan The Stallion, but who the hell knows Pardi Fontaine? Nobody. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You probably just and if you do know her, you know her by who? You know her why you know her because of Megan The Stallion, and now you even know her even more because she so called got into a fight. With Megan the Stallion. All of that fighting thing was just a promo stunt just to bring Party Fontaine more into a bigger light. To get recognition. 
You got to understand, people, bad publicity is better than no publicity. So if you ain't got no publicity, hey, you just irrelevant. But if you got bad publicity, if you known for, you know what I'm saying, smacking the turtle and pulling his tail, you know what I'm saying, and that goes viral, okay, oh, that's the guy that's known for smacking the turtle and pulling his tail. So even though it's bad publicity, even though you're known for smacking the turtle and pulling his tail, you are still known. See what I'm saying? So I say all that to say this. This is just a cheap publicity stunt. I wonder how much party Fontaine gave Megan the Stallion for this little bit of five minutes of fame. Because that's what it is. A little bit of five minutes of fame. You know what I'm saying? Because Cardi B is set. Well, not really, but you know what I'm saying? She's she's more notable than party Fontaine. Party Fontaine is just getting her feet in the door. His or her feet. I don't know if it's a her or a he. I guess it's a her. You know what I'm saying? She's just getting her feet in the door. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? And with the helps of Card, I with the helps of um, Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion still need to uh, answer for the fact that how you get shot in both of your feet and you on Instagram twerking the next day. That don't make sense, Card. I be do it. I'm going to say that again because I know a lot of people who's on Cardi B side. Oh, she did get shot in both of her feet. Oh, yeah. How about this one? Your feet. Is it not nothing but bones? Every Probably every inch of your feet is nothing but bones. The only part that is not a bone is your toes. You understand? Is your toes. Everything else is all bones. So if you got shot in both of your feet, number one, that's going to hurt. Number two, you going to need surgery. Hell, back in high school, I was playing basketball and I jumped up for a, for an alley oop and I came down on my foot sideways. Boy, did that hurt! So I just sprained my foot. And I could not walk. I could not touch. My foot could not touch the ground. That shit will hurt. And that's just a sprain. So you mean to tell me Megan Thee Stallion got shot in both of her feet. And she was able to twerk on Instagram the next day. That's a lie. From the pits of hell. So if Cardi B lying about getting shot in both of her feet, of course she going to lie about, you know what I'm saying, staging this fight just to bring out Party Fontaine to the spotlight so that she can sell records. So that maybe she can get signed to a label or so that maybe she can get some recognition and get some streams so that she can become a spectacle. And being that card, I being that um, Megan the Stallion is pictured a video fighting this woman. I won't be too surprised if Megan the Stallion, part I, uh, part I Fontaine, has a handler. If Megan the Stallion is part I Fontaine's handler, see, I don't know who part I Fontaine is, but. Being that she's connected to Megan Thee Stallion, I won't be too surprised if Meg is the handler. And she's just looking out and building up her little damn protege. <laughs> anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in logging on to another episode of Lunati News Hour. Right here on Luminati Radio, I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And don't forget, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR. Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.